Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, October 23rd, and today we are starting that study about the armor of God. I told you about the vision that I had had yesterday, and the first thing listed in the armor, in the armor of God is the belt of truth. And I never really thought about why that was first until I started to do this research. And when I did this research, I was like, of course, it's going to be true, the, fir the first thing that's covered because it was such an essential part of the armor in that time of day. Now, I have a lot of information here. The first bit of information is from pray.com. And what they said is that the belt of truth anchors every other part of God's full armor to defeat the enemy. So you must start with the truth. So that truth is sets us free. It's where we begin that battle. We can't begin the battle with a lie. Um, some translations use having girded your loins with truth. The word loin is unusual, but basically what it was is that men would wear a long draping robe and they would gather that up if they were going to go work in the field and they would use a belt to gather that up and make it so that their loins were girded instead of it just being a free flowing robe. Now there was something that was between their legs and they were safe to go and work in the fields. So then I started looking at what does it mean to the Jewish people? What did it mean to the Hebrews that would have been reading that way after the effect? And so in Torah.com, I found some things very interesting. Um, it's a special belt that was only applicable in the times of Chazel when men wore long robes and not pants. Under such circumstances, the belt was a significant separation between the upper half of the body and the lower half of the person's body. Today, men wear pants, and so there's no reason for that type of a belt. Now, the Shulchan Aruch, which is the legal code of Judaism, implies that if a person is already wearing a belt, he should put on another one for the sake of the telephone. Tefila. Based on this, the custom amongst the many Chazidim was is to wear a girdle, a special worn belt worn while praying. So it was a belt that was worn while praying. And if you think about that, it's when we are praying that we are pouring our heart out to God. We are not hiding anything. We are laying it all out. It's when we're in that prayer closet. So this belt of truth is a beautiful piece of the armor that you need in that in that prayer closet. Now, harvest.org said that it was the belt of, for a Roman soldier, the belt was kind of like um, a utility belt. Like right away, I'm thinking of what a police officer would wear. We joke at the school I work at that it's the Batman belt because it's got all sorts of tools and things like that. Um, the breastplate, was attached to the belt. The sword with the sheath was attached to the belt. It was a major key piece of the army, armor. Now, it wasn't used for attack. He didn't attack an enemy with his belt, but he had better, um, because he had better weapons for that, but the belt was essential because it, it held those we weapons. Now, the belt of truth, if we're going to, if we're going to win in this spiritual battle, then we need the truthful, we need to be truthful before God. We've got to let ourselves be completely exposed. And when we do that, we've got that belt of truth on. In the Cultural Study Bible, it said that it may refer to a belt or girdle. So it could have been a leather apron that was came out from beneath the armor, or it could have been a metal belt over the tunic that protected the lower ab abdomen. And BibleRef.org, it said that the belt was tied around the waist rather than buckled. So then when he says fasten it, it it's, it's a tie. And the soldier's belt was very thick and um, sturdy. We could compare it to a weightlifter's belt. You know, a weightlifter's belt is probably, I don't know, this thick. It's not like a belt that would go through your jeans. 
and the rest of the soldier's armor connected to the belt. Every single piece of this spiritual armor in this battle connects to the belt of truth. Remember, Jesus said we need to worship in spirit and in truth. It comes straight from the center of your body, and all of that armor is connected to that truth. So in the vision, the belt I saw was more like a, wet, a leather belt, but it was woven together with the word of God. It was Hebrew lettering, and it was, it was put together with that lettering, and the sides were very um, finished off, so it could not fray. So as we take that into our, into how does this apply to us, we've got to ask, where do we get this belt of truth? We get this belt of truth when we've got the word of God. We get the belt of truth when we are completely open and honest with what is happening with us spiritually when we're spending that time in prayer in the prayer closet. It's okay to be open. It's okay to be exposed because without being open, without being exposed in your time with God, you don't have that belt of truth. And once again, every piece of armor connects to that belt of truth. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.